The, the, the frontier of California was developed in a curious way as a combination of religious institutions, missions, and military institutions, presidios. The two pueblos of California were really not in the normal sense that we talk about the development of towns, uh, a part of the Spanish era milieu. And the reason for that is that both of the Pueblo of San Jose and the Pueblo of Los Angeles and Brant Saforte, which was less, was a briefly occupied experiment, each one of those was essentially a military community of farmers associated with the Presidio. They were ruled by sergeants, not by a town council. So in the Spanish period, there really are only the Presidios and the missions. The missions are the primary institution of interaction between the Indians and the non-Indians. However, almost from their start, there also developed relationships between the soldados and their families and the Indian people. The biggest vehicle for this exchange was godparenting. Because of the institution of the Compadrazgo, it was necessary for non-priest settlers to become involved in the spiritual development of the Indians. And what it did was it, it established padrino relations so that the Indians would have expected from their godparents certain things, including gifts and support for religious celebrations like uh, um, First Communion, for example. And it also meant that the Indians were obliged to work for their godparents without getting paid. And there was gift giving, there was matchmaking, a lot happened through this mechanism. Um, so we know that these communities were integrated together, even though illegally segregated to a very significant extent.